This is Twit. Troy is on the line from uh, Morton, Washington. Hi, Troy. Hey, good morning, Leo. Thanks for taking my call. Thanks for calling. All right. Hey, belated congratulations on your 10-year anniversary last week. And I'm just wondering, when you started, did you think you'd be sitting in a million-dollar studio? <laughs> no. He, he's talking about the podcast network, TWIT, T-W-I-T, This Week in Tech. We launched uh, in April 2005, and uh, I was just in a little attic room doing the radio show and then a few other podcasts. But we've grown. Yeah, we have like 25 shows, a fancy, uh, fancy studio, which... I paid for it out of my own pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's a mixed blessing. But because of it, we're able to kind of do, we, to, right after the radio show, we're going to do our first TV show. We've done a lot of audio and video podcasts, but I consider this uh, the new screensavers, the show we're about to do this afternoon, the first actual television show. And Lisa keeps saying, it's an internet television show. I said, I don't care. It's still a television show. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, you know, uh, you never know when you if the first the longest journey begins with a single step, doesn't it? You you don't know where you're going to end up. Well, I hope you're around in uh, ten years. But at any rate, my <laughs> me too. <laughs> I agree with so you. My question is: I have an iMac. It's an older generation iMac, so one one generation ago, and I'm running Windows uh, Seven on it, uh, and it's with boot camp, so I can go back and forth. But I've been trying out the Windows 10, um, you know. The a, beta, yeah. Yeah, and I'm wondering, can I, two questions, I guess. Can I simply run Windows on my iMac? Can I get rid of the OS yes. operating system? Uh, well, and, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can. I mean, that's what Boot Camp does. Boot Camp creates a partition on the hard drive that is a pure Windows partition just like Windows and uh, like a, any Windows PC, and you put Windows in there. The, the, the biggest difference, I mean, Apple now runs on Intel processors, so it's, and almost all its hardware is pretty much the same as PC hardware. The only issue is that Apple makes it, so you need drivers from Apple, and that's what Boot Camp does. It'll make the partition uh, and download drivers specific to the iMac hardware, the one that you have, drivers for the display, drivers for the keyboard, for the mouse, for peripherals, that kind of thing. And you need those, just as you do on any Windows machine, you need the drivers from the manufacturer of the machine, in this case, Apple. Now, the way they do that, though, is from the Mac side. So I, you could, in theory, delete the Mac partition and just always boot into Windows. I would keep the Mac partition, even if you don't use it. You can shrink it if you want to the to kind of a smaller size, but that's where you're going to update drivers and things. I would just keep it. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's superstitious of me. I We have my old Mac Pro. I mean, the old, you know, five-year-old Mac Pro, we use as a gaming machine. My kid uses it as a gaming machine, and it boots into Windows, so he never sees right. Macintosh. But every once in a while, I boot Macintosh, update the uh, OS and so forth, just in case. Okay. This is an advantage Apple has, is that it's the only, they make the only machines that can legitimately run both windows and os 10 right yeah and i definitely like the hardware on the on the apple side yeah but i mean if you're only going to run windows you might as well get a windows pc uh right now how about windows 10 do you think it could run i shouldn't have any problem running windows 10 on the iMac then uh you know i've been running it in emulation uh on a mac using vmware um i don't know if it's boot camp compatible or not Okay. Try it. See what happens. <laughs> right, it's you know Windows 10 is going to be out soon. In fact, we'll have a lot to talk about today because Microsoft had its big developer conference this week, Build, and they revealed a lot more about Windows 10. And we think it's going to be coming out in July. So we're not. We're a few months off from the actual release. The version of Windows 10 you're getting now, and yes, anybody can download it. You become part of the Windows Insider program. Is is what they call a technical preview. It is, in some respects, alpha software, not even beta, not even close to done, even today. So if you want to run it, you can run it as an experiment or just kind of out of curiosity, but I wouldn't use it as a full-time operating system for, for you know, your, your work or anything. It's not quite ready for that. So wait, it, but you don't have to wait long, and there will be a free upgrade. So if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, you have a free upgrade to Windows 10. I do, I have been playing with it because that's my job, and I, I like it. But there are gaps. It's not finished. <clears throat> In some cases, you won't have the most recent browser. They're kind of doing something called A-B testing. Not everybody who downloads Windows 10 Technical Preview gets the same feature set. 
they're downloading you, you, different people download get different feature sets, and that's because they uh, Microsoft. This is all for testing. This is they don't. This is not the final version of Windows 10. And one of the tests they're doing is well, to, you know, are people using this feature? Are they using that feature? So when you download Windows 10 Technical Preview, you also agree to uh, something they call telemetry to. Uh, Sending back to the home office all sorts of information about how you use it, what keys you're pushing, what mouse you're moving, how, when you move the mouse, whether you use this feature or that feature. Yeah, and so that's the purpose of this. It is not really intended to be, oh, look, you've got Windows 10. It's not out yet. It's testing. And it, and, uh, it is not, and Microsoft's very clear, not guaranteed to work. Not fit for use. Our show today brought to you, thanks for the call, I appreciate it. You know, if you want to run Windows 10 on uh, a, a Mac, I think right now the best way to do it is in a virtual machine with Parallels or VMware. Uh, it will run. It runs just fine. That's how I've been doing it. And you can see it and test it, but you're not committed to it in the same, in the same way as you would be if you, if you put it on a boot camp partition.